Nonprofit organization is going above and beyond to provide clothing to students who can't afford it. That's right. Reporter Karina Bizarte spoke to the founder and tells you how you can donate. Feed the Need knows it's a tough time for many families as they prepare to head back to class. That is why they want to help. Most kids are not able to have clothes and shoes for schools, which is, I'm really happy that my mom's able to reach out to the kids that don't have, that, that need those needs. Schools are almost opening their doors, but before that happens, Feed the Need is hosting its fifth back to school drive in Brawley. This year, they're adding three cities to the list, Westmoreland, Calipatria, and Nyland. The founder of the organization says they're also accepting school supplies, but the focus is on clothing, since she knows how hard this time of year can be for low-income families. I, I understand the situation uh, in a lot of uh, households when it comes to having, um, uh, to being low-income and barely being able to afford um, back-to-school clothing. So I've been through this, you know, the majority of my children's lives, you know, and so I had always thought that it would be a great idea to have something like this available. The executive assistant shows us what the organization has so far. I have uh, assorted um, short sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve button ups, leggings, sweaters, uh, sweatpants, tops, and uniform um, khaki and corduroy bottoms. There's one specific item that the organization is struggling to get. Right now, I would say shoes. Shoes is um, all sizes. Uh, we um, have about um, 10 youth um, sizes all together. The goal is to help at least 50 children in each city. If you would like to donate, visit our website at KYMA.com. Reporting from Brawley, I'm Karina Azarte.